everybody, welcome to HomeRecordingMadeEasy.com and here on my YouTube channel and in this video, if you are someone who just picked up a PreSonus interface uh, that's bundled or any other interface that's bundled with some Studio One software and you want to know how do I get my um, stuff registered and how do I download my version of Studio One because all I have is my interface, this video is for you. So before we get to that, I want to say that um, after you watch this video, I want you to go to HomeRecordingMadeEasy.com and on the Made Easy page, okay, the link will be in the description box below. There is a, a training course I have called the PreSona Studio One Beginner's Guide that will take you from right after you're done installing and registering your product through all the common features and uh, and shortcuts in, in, uh, in, 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 in a very easy way to show you how to set up for mixing, set up for recording, and get yourself set up in Studio One so you could start working on music right away. I think it's 15 videos long. It's done in a vi from a very beginner's perspective, assuming you've never used Studio One before. It's going to take you right from this page here, the start page after you've installed it. And we're going to talk about the start page. We're going to talk about how to set up your interface in Studio One, everything. So that is the PreSonus Studio One Beginner's Guide. Go to homerecordingmadeeasy.com. Link will be in the description box below. And if you stay till the end of the video, I'm also going to give you a special discount on that course so you can check that out. Okay. So make sure you do that. Now, you got your audio interface. You got, whether it's a USB uh, 96 or one of the other interfaces, first thing you gotta do is you gotta come out to presonus.com. Okay, so the very first thing we gotta do is we gotta go out to presonus.com here. Let me just uh, show you what that home page looks like here so you know exactly where you're gonna end up. So here's presonus.com. Um, again, it may look a little different by the time you log in. If it's your first product that you have with presonus, never used presonus stuff before, you need to create yourself a user account. So you're gonna do that the top right hand corner. I've already created one and logged in obviously, but you're gonna see a spot where you create an account, create yourself a username and password, you're gonna get a confirmation email. You're gonna accept that confirmation email. It'll happen right away, almost instantaneously. And then you're gonna come back, you're gonna log into the account. And once you log into your account, you're gonna come over to my account here up in the top right hand corner, click on my account. That's gonna bring you to this page here. Now this is kind of your home page for your particular profile where all of your hardware, all of your software and any plugins or stuff that you buy from Studio One from now and in the future will all be located in one spot, real easy to navigate. First thing you want to do is you want to come over to this orange button and register a product. A lot of folks get confused when they get their interface. They don't know, well, do I download Studio One? How do I download Studio One? It didn't come with a CD. Before you can download Studio One, you have to register your interface, okay? So you're going to register a product. A little box is going to pop up and it's going to ask you, is it a software or an add-on or is it hardware? In your case, it would be hardware, okay? When did you purchase it? What is the serial number? The serial number can be found either underneath the interface or on the back with a little sticker. And a lot of times PreSonus, depending on the product, will have an index card inside of the packaging as well. So make sure you don't throw away any of the packaging until you get your stuff registered. Once you register everything, you're gonna get a little thank you box. Yes, it's registered, it's a valid serial number. Okay, I'll close this. And then you're gonna come, you're gonna end up on this page here. And then you're gonna come to my products up here at the top uh, of the navigation bar here. Okay, so you have my products and you have three sections. You have your software, your hardware, and your add-ons, okay? You're gonna go to hardware and you're gonna see your audio interface here. So in my case, I've already registered a Studio 1824C. It's a USB-C. Here's my product key. It's my, uh, my serial number. You click on this little arrow and it's gonna bring you to the everything that's included with this particular interface, all the installers. So the first thing you wanna do especially if you're um, working on a PC, is you wanna download the Universal Control app. Now I'm working on a Mac and you download it for a Mac as well, but there are things that you, with the PC version that you need to do with inside Universal Control, which we'll talk about in a future video, um, that you don't need to do with a Mac, but you need to install this is what I'm trying to get at. So you wanna install Universal Control, okay? And then underneath that, you're gonna see all the things that your particular interface comes with. This particular interface comes with a bunch of plugins here that you can click on and you can download. And then you can see right down here, Studio One Artist, download the installer. Okay, so most of their interfaces, as of the recording of this video, come with the version Studio One Artist. Some might come with Studio One Prime, depending on the, um, and even I think a couple of them come with Studio One Professional, maybe they're live series mixers, not sure. But anyway, 
once you come to your interface or your product that you purchased, you're gonna download it right here, okay? Also underneath, you're gonna have all the other downloads. You're gonna have the release notes if you wanna read those, the owner's manual, okay? And then any miscellaneous files, you wanna check those out. A lot of those are PDF and, and notes and such, and you should take a look at those, okay? So that's what you wanna do. Now, depending again on the product that you registered, this list of, of uh, products or of downloads may be more or less, and you wanna make sure that you download everything there. A lot of times people will just download just the installer for Studio One Artist, and if your thing comes with a bunch of loops and such, they're not gonna realize, if you click more details here for the installer, okay, here's all my product keys here, you won't be able to see them, but you can see you can download the installer right here for the Mac, okay? And this comes with 10 bundled downloads, Studio One. I click on this button, here's where all the instruments rely, um, reside, as well as all the loops. Okay, so a lot of folks will download Studio One and then they can't find the virtual instruments that come with it, or they can't find the loops that come with Studio One. Okay, it's all under here. Okay, so you gotta make sure that you come to Studio One, your artist, and then you're gonna click on the bundle downloads. Again, it'll come hidden. You wanna show it and you wanna download each one of these. It'll tell you how big the file size is on, so on and so forth. Again, there's more miscellaneous downloads here. There's demos and tutorial videos here. Again, the owner's manual, any release notes. Okay, so once you get once you get everything registered, make sure you download all that additional content or else when you open up Studio One, you won't see any of that stuff. Once you have Studio One installed, okay, and we go to, do I have a song open here? Yes, I do, okay. So you'll come over, you'll open up, you'll come over to your browser here, and if you look under instruments, you'll see all of your instruments under the PreSonus tab, okay? If you come over to loops, you'll see all your loops here that are installed. Now I have the professional version. The professional version has many more instruments and loops. Your list will be a little bit smaller, but once you install Studio One, if you come to the browser and you don't see the loops and you don't see the instruments, it's because you did not download all of these things under the, under the bundle downloads, okay? So that is how you install Studio One. You have to register your interface. You wanna download Universal Control, and then you also want to download the installer for Studio One plus all of the different bundled downloads that come along with it. And again, depending on when you're watching this video, there may be more or less. The website for PreSonus may look a little bit different, but it's basically always laid out the same and they actually always improve it to make it easier to navigate. And again, if you have any questions about this or you're having trouble downloading something, you wanna contact PreSonus support right to their website. They're really good about getting back to you very quickly. Or you can also go out to the PreSonus user form and I'll leave the link in the description box where there's a great community of people that use both PC and Mac um, and a lot of veterans there that have been doing this a long time. I'm there as well. You can post your problem or your question there and someone will get back to you. And then lastly, there's a bunch of also Facebook groups, great Studio One Facebook groups that you can join and you can ask people there as well. Studio One's got a wonderful community. So if you're brand new to Studio One, this is how you register your interface. This is how you download Studio one, then you're gonna go out to Home Recording Made Easy. You're gonna get the PreSonus Studio One Beginner's Guide. Now I said, if you watch this whole video, I wanna give you a free gift. I'm actually gonna give you two free gifts. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna give you a coupon code. The coupon code is YouTube25. YouTube25 will take 25% off any one of my training courses at homerecordingmadeeasy.com. And yes, that includes the PreSonus Studio One Beginner's Guide. So you can get that at 25% off to use along with your new uh, PreSonus uh, bundle there, your interface. And, uh, and Studio One. And also, while you're at home recording madeeasy.com, I want to give you five free mixing training courses. It's right on the homepage. You'll see a big orange button at the top worth about 210 bucks. Five free mixing courses. So as you get up and running in Studio One and you start recording and mixing stuff, I have five courses that help you with your mixing training. It's my gift to you just for visiting homerecordingmadeeasy.com. So there's a bunch of freebies and a bunch of discounts for you. This is how you install Studio One onto your computer. Again, Mac or PC, it's exactly done the same way. 
I've been Dave with HomeRecordingMadeEasy.com. Please like, please share, please subscribe, and leave some comments below. Let me know, when did you pick up your PreSonus uh, Studio One and your interface? What interface are you using? How long have you been using it? How do you like your interface? How do you like Studio One? I'd love to hear your experience. If you're new at Studio One and their, partic their hardware and the software, I'd like to know what you guys think. I'd love to hear what the, what the new uh, users of Studio One and the PreSonus gear thinks. Leave comments below. I read them all and I answer them all myself. I will see you in the next video. Take care.